and Alpha Boards. Their managing director is Anthony Blackhouse. So to William Howard and Clan to the stage. Thank you. Representatives from the branch of Young Enterprise Clan. I'm Anthony Blackhouse, the managing director. I'm Fergus McKay. I'm Greenup Human Resources. And I'm Laura Day. And together we would like to take this opportunity to give you an insight into our business and the year so far. Starting any business is hard, and the first several months are crucial to its success. We took the decision to limit shareholders to the, to the business and to direct relations. We did this as we thought we had to establish a strong group identity and having outside influence could hinder our success. We made a decision to generate income through the production of invitations and Christmas cards. With this extra funding, we were able to invest in our primary products, the plan clocks and the alpha boards. Clang was established with a vision to create a business that would produce sound products of a sound quality built on the foundation of sound ethics. We believe that placing the customer at the centre of everything we do and providing a high level of customer service results in high customer satisfaction. Our business philosophy is mirrored in our vision statement, as you can see. This slide shows our theoretical company structure, although in reality our company is much less hierarchical. In fact, most roles are fluid, allowing everybody to contribute to group discussions and activities. We use group collaboration to devise many of our um, policies. <laughs> um, we, thought, we found this very effective, as everyone's understanding of the policies meant that we had no issues and we didn't have to use any disciplinary action, apart from one incident in paper aeroplane. Um, to protect ourselves from financial difficulties, we also devised um, a policy in which if anyone left, they would forfeit the right to any profit if they left before the end of the financial year. The two main key products that we produced during the year were the Alpha Boards and the Clang Clocks. The clocks were a chic and sophisticated small ideal clock for home and office use. The Alpha Board, this is an incredibly versatile and customizable children's toy, ideal for children aged 2 to 4. Its puzzle board style makes it ideal for developing word and letter recognition. This product is bright and colourful, which makes it appealing to children. It is also made from a high quality wood. For the clocks, we produce questionnaires to be sent out to members of the public regarding key issues such as size, colour and pricing of the clock. Our market research deduced that we should produce a small black clock for somewhere in the region of £5. We raised awareness of the clocks by producing posters that were distributed at trade stands and parents' units. We used the school facilities in order to make the clocks and made sure that the people involved in the production were skilled enough to operate the machinery. This was ensure that the products were of a high quality. We also took time to find good quality parts and materials from suppliers. In marketing our alpha boards, we needed to have thorough research and so we decided to um, send out letters and surveys to 86 nurseries in the Cumbria area asking them to get feedback on the alpha boards. Um, the, result, the results of this aided our decision to sell the alpha boards at £8 with an extra £1 for personalisation and 50p for each underlay. We encountered a number of problems with the alpha boards, but because we have supreme confidence in the product, we believed that we would find a solution. The biggest problem was that the laser cutter at school would not cut the wood. We decided to find an alternative method of cutting out the boards. We decided to approach a local company called Cromlin Designs who were willing to cut out the boards for £4.20 each, which meant it was only an extra pound on production costs. The other boards were made using 6mm birch plywood, although we assembled the boards and glued the pieces together ourselves. We decided to promote the selling of our products in a range of alternative locations including auctioning on eBay and also taking a number of orders both in school and to the general public. We received orders from William Howard Learning Support Department also and also a number of nurseries in the Cumbria area. Alpha boards aside, our first commission was to produce 100 invitations for our school staff Christmas party. The art department provides us with the materials and the design and we produced the cards um, at a charge to the school. During the Christmas period we also commissioned um, quizzes and cards and sold Valentine's Day roses and um, cards. Since the start of our business we have been associated with a, with a number of other businesses to aid the production and to, and to promote our products. Firstly we decided to create a group identity and in doing so we produced a number of team hoodies. Also we produced a website which came from one-on-one -on -one who provided us with the facilities. 
The website helps us with communication in order for departments to communicate between each other. During the course of the year, we at Khan kept track of our finances and thanks to our manager, financial director, Myrna Lorry. Without going into all the ins and outs of the company's finance, it's fair to say that we've been generating steady profits at the start of the year. Finally, we'd just like to thank all the businesses we've been associated with over the past year. We would also like to make a special thank you to our link teacher, Ms. Sunderman, our business advisor, Brian Weiss, and finally, that brings us to the end of our presentation from myself, Fergus, Adam and Lauren. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy your evening.